Hi everyone, um, welcome back to probably, I know it says ep episode 6, but this is probably our first real episode. I'm starting to build what this channel is going to be about. Um, obviously I'm Craig from Ningaloo Ecology Cruises, our glass bottom boat business. Um, and I'm here now, I'm, no, I'm sitting in the car, but I'm here at the Mindaroo Foundation Xmouth Research Lab. So yesterday they had an open day and during that open day they had um, some corals that they'd gathered from the reef in different tanks. And in those different tanks they had different temperatures. Um, so they were heat stressing the coral. They obviously had a control which is um, coral that was at the same temperature it is out in the reef now which I think is about 24 degrees or well, they have it at 26 and then they were stressing some corals up to 32 degrees so what the um, scientist here was telling me and I'll introduce you to him in a minute was um, that uh, at 32 degrees they should bleach overnight so we're gonna go in and have a look now once we've had a look at that um, I'm gonna get a thermometer installed on the boat uh, which will have a readout behind me. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but um, that way we can keep an eye on the temperature, and we should get some indicators of when our coral is starting to get stressed. Now, Ningaloo Reef is one of the healthiest reef systems in the world at the moment. Obviously, at this stage, um, they estimate that about 50% of the coral around the world is dead. That's the information that I have, and that's what we've seen over east at the Great Barrier Reef and at other reefs around the world. But here at Ningaloo we've been very lucky so far uh, and I think that's to do with the currents that we have here but I'll explain that in another episode. So look, come in, we're going to have a look in the Mindaroo Foundation, have a look in here. We're going to go in there, that's the brand new lab. Uh, so it's pretty exciting for Exmouth and for the whole reef and we'll find out a little bit more about what their, what their job is. So here we are at the Exmouth Research Lab, I'm just heading in, let's check it out. Take over here. That, they're locked. Oh well. All right, so we're going into the controlled environment room here, and uh, here they've got a lot of tanks. You can see they've got coral in these tanks here. It looks very blue. That's just the type of light that they've got on there. Um, and they can change the lighting conditions. Obviously they can control the temperature in these tanks as well. So here they've written on the tanks. This tank here is at 29 degrees. It's going to be very hard for you guys to see. This is 26 degrees and this one's 32. So at the moment on the reef, our coral, our water is about 21, 22 degrees. Um, now this one here, these were harvested a couple of days ago. So this one here, they've had it at 32 degrees yesterday and you can see some of the coral at the front here, this coral, in fact, most of this coral died and bleached overnight. There are a couple that survived. This one at the front here looks okay. And the one in the back corner there looks okay, but 32, so that's a, well, that's quite a drastic difference. That's nearly 10 degrees difference from what they're used to on the reef at the moment. So it'll be interesting to see whether it's a rapid increase in temperature or the temperature variance is what is the controlling factor. Very hard for you guys to see, but I'll try and zoom in a little bit there. All right, and then we'll compare that to what we've got out in the water. All right, see ya. Well, I think this is super exciting, not just for Exmouth, but for obviously the world. Um, to have such an, a facility here, it's gonna be great for us. We can access um, some really smart people that know a lot about coral, and they're gonna learn more about coral while they're here. Obviously, sorry guys, I'm just in the storage shed here for our business. Uh, obviously there's, um, this is just where we keep our busters and stuff. Obviously there's um, gonna be a lot learnt and a lot to learn, um, but we're just gonna keep an eye on the reef. We're obviously out there pretty much every day, weather pending, and um, for that reason, I think it's a pretty good thing for us to keep an eye. I'm really interested in what's gonna impact our coral here, for obvious reasons. Um, what's gonna impact our coral here and what's going to help look after it. I'm also interested in why Ningaloo's been one of the healthiest reefs in the world. Obviously a lot of reefs are experiencing coral bleaching and I've got a theory about that. 
Uh, I did run it, run it by um, one of the coral experts there yesterday, but um, I'll run you guys through that in another episode. It's to do with all the currents. We talk about it on our tour as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> like, subscribe if that's what you're into. If you're interested in seeing more of this kind of stuff, let us know. Uh, obviously, I'm not a scientist. I'll give you a bit of a background on me on another episode. Um, I'm a steerologist. I drive boats. But I do love the reef and I do love the place I live. I've lived here for 20 years and I've built, built a deep respect for this place. So hopefully you guys will come along and we'll check out and make sure that our little home stays protected. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.